Hello everyone, welcome back to Mastering Mayhem. Today we are going to compare these three different job site radios to one another. They have three different price points, but they are all dual power capable. Let's go ahead and do this. Ha ha! Woohoo! Okay, so before we get started, uh, let me just give you the model numbers of all three. This is the DeWalt Bluetooth speaker. It is the DC R010. Uh, the Milwaukee model number is the 2890-20. The Bosch model number is the PB360C. So now let's go ahead and talk about some of the features uh, that each one has and some of the features that are not available on each one. So earlier we were talking about the DeWalt Bluetooth speaker. It is a Bluetooth speaker only. It does not have radio functions uh, at all built into it. It can only do Bluetooth stuff. So you would have to get your radio function on your phone or whatever smart device you have and then push that through the Bluetooth connection to get it on this guy. Now this Milwaukee radio here does not have Bluetooth capability. Oh no! It is auxiliary only. Depending on the type of phone you have and what kind of case you have, uh, it should fit in here. It is possible that it will be very, very cramped to certain phones. When you put your device in there or belongings, it is water sealed or weather and debris protected. So that's, that's a nice feature there. Now the Bosch, it has radio, it has Bluetooth capabilities. You have your presets, you have your equalizer, you have your memory. So quite a few more features with this one, as well as this having a subwoofer. Uh, I'd say, yeah, about a four inch speaker here. So you got the four inch speaker there. Only the Milwaukee and the Bosch have a display screen, whereas again, the DeWalt does not. The Milwaukee and the Bosch have their power cord wrapped around securely. You got your power cord wrapped right around the side on the Bosch and the DeWalt one its power cord is removable you won't be able to slide your battery pack on without removing that power cord but it does have a power cord source the Bluetooth range on this is 100 feet it has a USB charging port and it does have an auxiliary port if you don't want if you want to use less battery life and you want to just leave your phone here you can connect it with an auxiliary cable right here on the side and the DeWalt does have thick rubber shock absorbing sides here so it makes it very durable very rugged and according to the manufacturer bear tool weighs four pounds 2.4 ounces so we'll test that out with my scale as well let's go on to the milwaukee the milwaukee again has a compartment here where you can put your smart device in connect it with the auxiliary you have your usb charging port as well in there so it's very nice and uh lock tight there this has again a display screen it has mode, option, presets, forward, backward, uh, power, right? You got your clock and your equalizer and your main function volume knob right there. This does have an antenna. They say this antenna is the highest reception, accuracy, and signal clarity. It's a digital AM FM processor with 10 station presets. We'll test that out compared to the Bosch. This is also a durable, portable, stackable design by Milwaukee, so it is stackable. A shock absorbing end caps. Integrated handles, which are right here. So you can carry this guy however you like, right? It's pretty sweet. Very easy to hold and carry. It's got some weight to it. This speaker uh, radio also charges your smart devices, whether you're plugged in through the power cord or an M18 battery. Okay, the Bosch has 360 sound. It has four tweeter type speakers, one on each corner of this 360 power box. And then, like we were showing, it's the subwoofer at the bottom. And this, the Bosch mm -hmm. is the only one that is capable of recharging or charging your batteries uh, while, it, while you have it connected to the corded power source, right? This claims to have a 150 foot Bluetooth range but depends on conditions it says. It says it has an illuminated control panel. Uh, both of these display screens are illuminated on both of these. And then on this again you have four way power outlets. I'll show you all these power outlets here on the side. When I get the camera we'll just go around and take a look at the back of these speakers. As far as the warranties, so three year limited warranty, 
one year service warranty, 90 day money back guarantee on the DeWalt. Milwaukee has a five year limited warranty. Bosch, one year unconditional warranty, 30 day money back guarantee, and a one year service protection plan. That is what is included on the Bosch. Let's go ahead and come back here. I'll show you how the batteries lock into place. And we'll just show you a few more features of each speaker here. And then we're going to go ahead and turn them on. We're going to turn them all to maximum volume or at least to the highest point before the speakers crack. Okay, so on the DeWalt, you can use either the 12 volt battery. It just locks into place just like that. But you can also use the 20 volt batteries, right? Whether it's a 2 amper or 5 amper, it doesn't matter. And this is one of the old type batteries here and it works just fine, it locks into place. Uh, you can obviously detach or remove the power cord. You actually have to in order to make it battery operated. So, And then like I was saying here, you can see that you have this little compartment here that can hold your smart device, your smartphone, and then you can put your, if you want to recharge while the battery is connected, you can put your power cord or charging cable through there and it can hold your phone in place just like that. And then you can also put your phone here on this little area that holds it in place as well. You guys may have seen my DeWalt video before, but yeah, you have your auxiliary 3.5 millimeter port there and your USB charging port there. Again, whatever battery you have connected, it will charge your device if you use the USB connection or if you're AC connected as well, it'll charge your device. Onto the Milwaukee, as I was saying, you see the power cord. It has a, a place here for it to be wrapped up and stored away. And then you have your, supposedly it's supposed to be a super highest reception accuracy and signal clarity with this antenna here. So we'll see how that does. Also, you can use any 18 volt battery on this. You no know, M12 battery capability on that. Whereas, again, the DeWalt, you can use, either use the 12 volt or the 20 volt batteries. It is the same with this. Like I was saying, we'll open this up. This is a weather sealed compartment. You have your auxiliary cord right there and your USB port right there to charge your devices while you're using them. So pretty sweet. You got your battery connection, all right? Just pops into place. Let's see if I can do it without knocking the radio. There you go. So nice and secure, right? It's well protected, very well constructed, I, I, I should say. All right, so now we have the Bosch. It's got the Bluetooth logo everywhere. Here's the digital media bay. It's got a bay right there where you can connect USB connection. You got your auxiliary in port there. You could probably put a device in here as well. There's, a, there's quite a bit of space. So Then on the back, you have the charger battery bay. Got the latch right up here at the top. Sorry, I'm working with a thumb that's healing. But you can put your battery in here. I got my four amp hour. You just slide it in right there. It just locks into place. It's ready to go. And right here, it just gives you the same uh, icons here to let you know the status of what is going on with the battery. Battery is charging. Battery needs to be charged. Battery is charged. So let's actually leave all the batteries connected right now. And then this is, to me, what makes this one obviously stand out is not only this big old roll cage, I mean this thing can fall anywhere. It says it can handle any type of drop, uh, any type of environment pretty much. Four 120 volt AC power outlets, right, by Bosch. And you can use it as a secondary power source while at the same time charging your battery. That's, that's, I see why it's in the 199 price range. And then it, it is just very, very durable looking and it feels durable. The antenna here is not as long as the Milwaukee and that doesn't mean that the reception won't be good. I'm just curious to see the difference if there is one. Four top speakers, like I was saying right here. One, two, uh, three, and four. So you have them all around and you have one subwoofer as well. Whereas the Milwaukee, you have two, I don't know, two inch speakers and then you have the tweeter type speakers up there. And then the DeWalt says it's two three inch speakers on this one. There we go, it's saying it's 12 o'clock. We got the Milwaukee one on and then obviously this one does not have a display. And we're going to test the sound with my sound level meter and see 
which one is the loudest or see how well they perform with what they have. All right, as far as the sound level meter testing, uh, you know, obviously each speaker uh, or radio has a different height and as far as how it's di directing the sound to it, but at least I'll have it on a smaller tripod that where this meter will not move. And so, yes, there is a difference in distance, but this gives you a general idea uh, to show you that the sound uh, power or the audio ability uh, is really, I don't think will be that much different between these three. That's my opinion. So let's go ahead and get this uh, set up for you, show you how easy it is. So just turn this guy on. And it gives you a beep notification. Then on whatever phone, whether it's Android or Apple, you go to your settings. Go to Bluetooth, it's on. And here you can see it's the DCR010. That's what you look for. In the instructions, it'll tell you too what name to look for when it's searching for. So it's on my iPhone 10, it's saying uh, DCR would like to pair with your iPhone. Just hit pair. Or you would just select it and then you just wait for it and then you get a beep notification that it is in fact connected. Okay? Okay, and let's just see how many dBs we get. As you can see, Check one, two, check one, two. Here's my DBs just fine. If I yell or scream louder, it goes up. So we're right there. As you can see here, you can control the volume from your speaker as well as your phone. But yeah, this is good. You can pause from the speaker. But yeah, that's, that's quite loud. We're going to play the same song on all three, okay? So that gives you an idea. What do we get? 94 dB plus? That's a really great example of the DeWalt. It hit 92, 93 dBs right there. So let's go on to the Milwaukee. We'll play the same song at the same place and see how that does. All right, so again, remember with the Milwaukee, you have this awesome compartment here. Yeah, weather sealed compartment, but it requires a physical connection. Oh, no! To your smart device. We'll put everything in the box and then we'll turn it on and we'll turn it up and see what kind of DB readings we get. Let's see. Let's see if we turn up the bass. Oh, okay. So the bass, let's turn it up. Let's see what happens there. Treble, I'll turn it up a bit more. All right, let's see how it does with this. So definitely uh, it hit 100 dBs at one point. So definitely a bit louder, but the distortion is greater on th this speaker setup. So, and again, depending on what you're looking for, do you want complete loudness? As far as range of the audio, the sound traveling in a room or in an open space, to me, I wouldn't notice a difference between the DeWalt and the Milwaukee. The only thing I would probably say is noticeable is when I turn up the bass higher, right, on the equalizer, and the bass is all the way up. I hear the bass more, but I, I hear the cracking and the distortion of the speaker more, though. So, is that good? I personally don't like distortion and cracking of speakers, so I would rather get a clean sound that is not as bass-filled or thumping, but it is clean and crisp and no distortion. So... Again, it depends on what you prefer. So that, that's the difference between the Milwaukee and the DeWalt so far. Let's check out the Bosch, see what it can do. So we're just going to point it to the middle, see what it does. Uh, again, just to give you a general idea, let's go to pairing. Right here, it has pairing. I think you have to, yep, long press it to where it is rapid blue flashing. 
and then you go to find your um, devices and it's the PB Powerbox 360C. So select that, boom, connect it. All right, let's give it some music and see what happens. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and turn it all the way up now. Volume is 20, let's see how it kicks in. Bass is all the way up, treble's all the way up. Okay, so that's 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 pretty much it. That's all I wanted to see. The difference between this Bosch, the Milwaukee, and the DeWalt, the bass and the sound is clean. It's clean on the DeWalt, but the bass is not as deep as it is on the Bosch. But the bass on the DeWalt is just fine for the size that it is. Uh, the Milwaukee is the most distorted one out of these two, the DeWalt and the Bosch. All right, let's go ahead and test the Bluetooth range. We are connected to the DCR010, the DeWalt. We're gonna play the music, and then I'm just gonna walk down that direction and then go around the house to the point to where I feel or I hear that the music is being distorted or beginning to lose connection. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna start playing the music. Turn it all the way up. Okay, as you can see here, we got the PB360, right? The Powerbox 360C is connected. Let's get my jam on.
right, so we're going to go ahead and weigh these three different uh, Bluetooth speakers slash radios and show you all the difference in weight. We're looking at 5 pounds, 5.8 ounces for the DeWalt with cord and a 5 amp 12 volt battery. This Milwaukee is also with the 2 amp hour battery and the cord. This guy is 12 pounds, 4.4 ounces. And this Bosch is heavy. It's 25 pounds, 2 ounces. This thing's a beast, y'all. This is a beast for sure. Do you want to lug this thing around? Or do you want to carry something more compact? Or do you want a Milwaukee that has no Bluetooth capability? Oh, no! That's up to you. Alright, so I have uh, both radios on the same station here. And that's very related to what this, we're talking about. Um, this is so the Milwaukee. I'm just really interested in hearing your reaction to that. The Milwaukee reception is absolutely amazing, clear, no static whatsoever on the same 90.5 station there. Now, if we go to the Bosch, you have this background static. It's a slight and light and low static, but it's there. It's not as it's not as clean of a reception. So we'll give it to the Milwaukee as far as the you know having the bigger antenna and having that good accuracy reception absolutely milwaukee gets that just from this absolutely. little test for the four years that i made the show all right y'all so it's actually getting cloudy and it might start raining at any moment but we are done this is the best i could do i am learning as far as doing comparison and review videos i've been focusing more on deal videos because they're easier to make and i just make them so yeah, out of these three, the Champ is the DeWalt Bluetooth speaker only. It is not radio. But remember, you can get radio through your phone, so you can still get that radio function. And in comparison to these two here, you're saving $70 compared to the Milwaukee. You're saving $120 compared to the Bosch. And all you got to do is get radio functions through your, or, you know, your, your smart device, whether it's your smartphone or a tablet. Or just a, a, you know, any type of smart device that will stream music. So for the type of work that I do, this DeWalt Bluetooth speaker wins hands down. Hands, and here's some of the main reasons why. You have a place to place your phone. It takes both 12 volt and 20 volt batteries. The Milwaukee does not do that. The Bosch does not do that. Right? So you can use either 12 volt or 20 volt. This guy is rugged, just as, as rugged as maybe, just as rugged as the Milwaukee. It doesn't have a weather uh, sealed compartment, but it does have a place you can place your phone up top. You can push your cord through there if you want. It'll sit right there just fine, or you lay it down right there on that area there. It's $79 right now. Even when it's $99, it's a better price than the Milwaukee and the Bosch by far. Uh, it has the equal sound for how small and compact it is it has equal sound by a few dbs i think the milwaukee beats it by a few dbs and the bosch doesn't it has the greatest range in bluetooth at about 10 to 15 feet uh, greater distance than the bosch this promises 100 feet it surpassed that this promises 150 feet and it did not reach that and it was the same environment the dewalt did a better job promising less and giving you more whereas this promised more give you gave you less this is about 20 pounds lighter than the Bosch about 18 or I think about yeah it was this was 12 pounds and this is just at five so yeah about five six pounds seven pounds less lighter than the Milwaukee you have the rugged outside uh, corners here that protect it and, and does very well so and it is dual power just like these other two and again for the price and what it can do and it delivers and the type of work that I do I'm a, a sole proprietor I'm a individual DIYer slash contractor I, I don't need a big crew uh, Bluetooth speaker slash radio this for me fits me best the price is the best the sound it delivers is the best or very comparable to these two which are in the higher price range higher price point the DeWalt for me wins 
rugged, durable, great sounding, light, very versatile. It has three ways of actually powering on, 12 volt, 20 volt, and AC power cord. Can't beat that. These two don't have that. They have dual power, but not triple power uh, capability as the DeWalt does. Again, it does have an auxiliary port. It has a USB port. This also charges your smart devices if you want to do so, whether you're physically connected or with a battery connection. This guy, for the again, I'll, I'll, this is the winner, hands down, right here. Uh, before it starts raining and it gets too dark, uh, I just want to give, again, a shout out to my wife, my children, uh, all the uh, Mayhem and Master Mayhem supporters. I appreciate you all. So for anyone else that wants to join the channel and support that way, you can join the channel and you'll get behind the scenes videos. You'll get badges. You'll get shout outs in uh, pre-recorded videos as well as the live streams. You'll stand out during the live streams. I'll read your comments uh, for sure or more than likely than all the other comments. Uh, you can also support the channel by uh, checking out our merch at MasteringMayhem.com. Check out our uh, website. We got hats, we got shirts, we have masks, we have stickers and magnets. Check it out, see, see what you like, and uh, you can support us that way. And then, of course, check out our Saturday Night Mayhem Power Tool Giveaway every Saturday night at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. You go to this video right here, you subscribe to the channel, comment on this video only. You only need to comment on this one right now. You comment on that, you're in the giveaway, and you have to be present during the Saturday Night Mayhem giveaway. So that helps that part of the channel grow significantly when you all attend. We have about 200 plus, 300 folks uh, hang out every Saturday night presently, and it's a lot of fun. We have a blast. We have a uh, mystery Mayhem box. I guarantee at least one power tool giveaway every Saturday night. And we always, or mostly always, do merch giveaway as well. So come hang out with us, check out the community, we have a blast. If our videos help you, give you information that is useful, please let us know and please show your support by liking, sharing, commenting, and just uh, you know viewing our videos and supporting us in that way. You'll have these three listed in the description of the video and I'll have the upgraded version of the DeWalt in the Milwaukee and the downgraded version of the Bosch in the description of the video, as well as the other lines like Rigid and Ryobi. Uh, Craftsman, whatever other Bluetooth radio, if you already know what you like, that way you can support me through those links as well. Any Amazon link or Banggood link uh, supports the channel and helps us to grow. And remember, the more you support us, the more options we're going to have for tools that we give away to you, our viewers. So the more support we get, the bigger we grow. You'll see those power tools that we're going to include in the giveaway are just going to get bigger and grander and more amazing to help make your life easier or your work environment more efficient. And so until next time, I only hope all the best to you and yours.